This is uh, Walter with uh, Fishing Fixing Things uh, One Beer at a Time. Today we're going to be working on my wife's, well, our washer. So it's a Samsung. It's about three, uh, yeah, three years old. Um, it's starting to get the unbalanced uh, message quite a bit. So, um, and of course, searching the internet, they say that you need to change your um, dampening rods. So that's what we're going to do today. I watched a whole bunch of different videos about how to do this. And I think I have a better way. So we're going to find out. And uh, but you'll only know if this works. Because if it doesn't work, I won't post it. <laughs> so, um, alright. Thanks and uh, let's get going. I already started on this uh, earlier and so I pulled out the two screws that are in the back here and there's also two screws in the front uh, where these uh, rubber pieces are so uh, and I'll show you those I'll get you a closer look when we, when we get to that so but what I want to do is just take off this back panel I think that I can avoid disassembling this whole screen thing and um, So I can get the back ones from here. And I got a little tray here for my parts. I ordered new ones and uh, boy what a difference in prices there are. Uh, the original equipment ones are $350 for a set. But uh, I found and I'll put a link down to the bottom here. Um, so this is one. So when you go to this link and this is the only link I'm going to put on. It's going to show you uh, four different ones. And in the comment section, in the reviews and questions and answers, it says, uh, is this for one or is this for four? Of course, the first person said, that price is for one. And the second person said, no, that price is for four. So the second person was correct. You can get all four of these for $54. Okay. And uh, there's no instructions or anything, but I'm going to show you some tricks that we're going to use when we put this on here. So, um, okay, so we're going to get in here a little closer and uh, you can see there's the rod right there and uh, the springs down there. You can see how this tub moves around quite easily and it's probably mostly due to this right here. You can see this is way up here. That's supposed to be down there and attached, but uh, that's what keeps this thing loose. The one over here has a pipe wrapped around it, which is, uh, that actually goes up to a water pressure switch up inside. So, um, so I'm going to put the uh, camera back on the mount and then we'll uh, take off the top just so um, we can access some other parts. All right, like I said before, I'd already uh, loosened these two screws, or taken those two screws out. So... This forward. I had also already removed this plug from this. This is some, uh, I'm guessing, some type of testing for uh, real washer uh, mechanics. Um, there's one up here, but um, I don't think I'm going to take that one out. Actually, I can't. That one's pretty simple. It's just a pinch and pull, and then this comes off. So then we got uh, a couple of screws here. Fairly long. I've also already removed the uh, power cord. Which is right here. It plugs in right here. And of course, the other one goes on the ground. So we'll set that out of the way. All right, we'll move these other two ground wires. So just so you know, that's a total of three ground wires. All right. 
I really thought I was going to get more access to the back. So, all right, now this whole thing is loose. We're gonna have a fuss with that. All right. There's, like I said, that water pressure earlier switch. I'm gonna take that out. Disconnect the hose. All right. I hope this works. So we got. Uh, This blue thing is a pressure switch. This got this, we're just gonna pull this off. And we're gonna lift this up, and underneath there, there's going to be a hose, which is a simple clamp to release the hose. Pressure switch. Now the idea is just to get this right to where we can reach those clamps. Now earlier I was trying to get this one out and it looks like I almost had it out. And uh, there it is and it is nasty gummy so um, and of course what makes these things are bad is when this piece right here can move that easy so it's not the spring down here you can also I don't know if you can see how gooey this is uh, it's nasty so Gonna stick it in the uh, my box that I got the new ones from, and um, I'm actually gonna remove one more. Oh, <laughs> not okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a moment and I'm gonna put some uh, uh, assembly fluid on it, okay? Um, not really sure where you can get this, but it's sticky and yet lubricated. So I'm gonna um, put it on this right here and this right here. I'm gonna do all four of them and then I'll get back with you guys. All right, so I got that lubed right there. And listen, I only did one. This stuff is so sticky, messy. I actually dropped, set it down and felt like it was gonna run all over the place. And I picked it up and it fell on the ground and I got this assembly sticky stuff on my wife's kitchen floor, which I'm gonna have to clean that up. I'm just gonna use Dawn liquid soap because that cleans up almost everything. So we're just gonna do the one at a time. So here's the one. just barely even touched the side and got goo all over it.
All right, so you saw how much trouble I had there. Um, what I tried to do is just grab the end of this thing with the vice grips. Let me see if I can get down here with this thing. Grab this right here with the vice grips. But then it just pulled up the the, uh, the rod and not the cup. So it gave me a little bit of uh, extra hassle there. So, all right. So uh, let me go lube up the next one. All right, I got the second one lubed. I like to stay as clean as I can. So when I'm doing these things, so I'm gonna change my gloves on every one of these. Into the box. Hope you could see that. All right, two down, two to go. All right, I'm gonna, man, I don't know how, how that's very focused. I don't know, well, I'm gonna do the best I can. So, the water line that we took that clamp off from earlier is wrapped all the way around this thing. And it also has a little bracket that needs to be unsnapped from the rod. And then we'll feed out the, can you see this bracket right here? This is the one that goes to the rod. Well, I'm not gonna get that to focus, sorry guys. So it's just a simple bracket, nothing major. And then the hose is wrapped around there. Now when I put this together, I am not going to wrap that hose around there. I'm gonna do something else with it. So, all right. And then that just drops right out of there. Snag the ground wire. Don't want to do that. All right. Well, I hope this works. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna kick this back a little bit. This thing still moves around real easy. I thought it'd be a little bit more stiffer. Uh, I guess we'll see. Probably should have uh, changed my gloves. All right, so I got all four of them in, and uh, every time I touch something, I feel like I'm just goobing up my stuff, like my hat and my camera and my tripod. But anyways, I got those four in, and um, what I'm gonna do is just set the camera back a little bit so that you can see the reassembly. 
Um, and if there's anything special or tricky, I will stop and try to get a close up. First thing will be the pressure switch. So I had to take that clamp all the way off of the hose. Plug in. This is just uh, three shorter screws Before I put the cover on, I'm going to hook the cord back on. Three wires. So you got one. You can't mess this up. These go one direction and the other plug that goes on this switch goes the other direction. So. screws in up here. These are really short and they're the ones that hold the back plate on. So here's the screw. Here are the two screws. So you can kind of see the difference. The long one is for the uh, that top white box, and the short one is for the silver back plate I took off. That's what happens when you, uh, sometimes when you do projects over a two day period. I took this all apart yesterday, and I didn't get my parts in until today. So. This white cover right here goes over the, where the outlet cord went. It's pretty simple.
These are the longest screws that I have. I don't know if you can see them, but they are for the back piece right here. All right, I want to show you these holes right here, right here, uh, big screw. Now earlier I said the longest screws go in the back. I was wrong. So the longer screws go in the front. So I've already taken them back out and we're just gonna put them in here. And there's just a rubber plug. I've only got four pieces left, so that must be this panel. Yes. All right, so I hoped you uh, were able to get something from that. I mean, I know there's a whole bunch of videos out there, and uh, maybe you watch one and get some parts from that one. I know I was watching a video this morning about how to do bacon in my oven fryer, and there's like eight different ways for the same fryer. But I used a little bit from each one, so. Um, but anyways, I uh, hope you like my video. If you do, just uh, click on like and then uh, click on subscribe. Thanks very much. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.